actually not bad. We get a lot of wind a lot in the northeast, so we're it did, tonight wasn't that bad. But it, I mean, it's colder, but it's nothing we're not used to. All right. Well, obviously you're inside next on Sunday for for the game. Um, is there? Do you change anything the way you do the way you kick the football on a in a in a dome stadium as opposed to outdoors? Um, not really. I think the biggest thing is to. Um, you know, the biggest thing is focusing on staying in your progression and staying in your rhythm. I mean, what we do is very rhythmic, and um, it, 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 whether it's uh, a very, you know, to open the game or whatnot, uh, sometimes your adrenaline can get you going a little bit. And so really, in a controlled environment, it's uh, it, you really just got to focus on your rhythm and your kind of progression leading, you know, whatever it is. We all do different things. You know, some quarterbacks lick their hands, other guys wear gloves, whatever it may be, you want to stick to your routine. And I think that helps in, you know, game, you know, bigger games or, you know, whatever you, whether it's during the season or post post game there's there's added distraction or added adrenaline whatnot so that's usually you got to bring it back to center and try to like stick to your routine that usually helps what makes this special for you to be back at the Super Bowl uh, to share it with our coaches and our players I mean we we work very hard and we put you know a lot of a lot of hours and and days into what we do and it can get monotonous it can get stressful there's a lot of pressure to it and for everybody to just keep their heads down and you know focus on what they're doing each day and work collectively and you know to end up being here as one of the two teams at, at the end of it all is it's rewarding and you know I'm proud to stand by all these guys and and go to work one last time and, and coach Belichick how, how big of an influence is he over the overall success of this organization since you've been around uh, I, I think just in a nutshell it's just a matter of you know how he basically pre, you know not pre not preaching isn't the best word but he he's informing us how it collectively and in the long run doing a few things and being accountable and focusing on just what you're doing and not getting distracted about other noise or listening to other people like it g allows you to fully focus on what you're doing and like a lot of people may claim that that's you know what they do in their jobs whatever it is that they do but there's it's very easy to get distracted no matter what, even from something positive or negative and so like he really hits that home and I mean there there's there's reasons to believe that it works I mean it, I even in what I do when I do that and I really focus like that I do better like and so it, it really is it's a, it's a testament to you know how this team goes and prepares each day and I would think that there's plenty of emphasis on special teams within this organization. I mean, it's not a forgotten part of this uh, winning tradition, is it? Uh, no, I, I, I think, I think we all have seen it. And anybody who's watched a, enough football know that special teams plays a big role in, in, in games. And s some games it doesn't. But I mean, if you broke a, a, a season up into four, you know four you know, four seasons, basically, each season, there's probably one game that usually special teams had a, an effect or a, a, an impact on that game. And so at the end of the year, when there's only 16 games, that's actually a lot. That's 20, you know, where it's really coming into play. And so it is important. And I think over the years, I, he's, you know, coach has so much experience that, you know, he understands, I think, that it's an important and, and it can be it can be used for, our, you know, to help our offense and defense. That's what complimentary football is all about. And the moment never gets too big for the Patriots, it seems. Have you kind of come to grips with the fact that you're playing in what is really a special organization to, to have won this many Super Bowls, to be here again and again and again? I mean, has that kind of sailed through your head at all? Uh, it, it has. I mean, when, when, I, when I think about, you know, getting the opportunity to play for New England and 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 then when I went out there for OTAs the first time and then when you, when I think about fast forwarding to now and all that's happened and what I've been around and what I've learned I mean I, what I've learned in the last five years I can take away and add it to whatever I end up pursuing in my post career and I know that I have a good idea of how to maybe manage that or go about doing those things because of just the way that we do things here and like the way that we do there's a lot of accountability and there's no there is no man safe where you know 
Well, anybody is completely victim to get obliterated on the low light films. If we you have a bad practice, there's no, there is, no, there's none of that. It's full transparency, and they, you know, after a while, that it's contagious in a positive way. I mean, everybody, it, it, it's, you know, everybody focuses on what they need to focus on, and that's how you get a high, you know, you get a lot of output. Ryan Allen of the New England Patriots here on Minnesota Score Radio.